The worst in this country's history, bar none. One of the most prominent personalities on the Fox Business Network. It is infuriating to everyone. Now off the air with Lou Dobbs' show suddenly canceled. Fox says it was part of planned changes, but the timing coincides with the filing of a massive lawsuit against Dobbs and others at Fox by Smartmatic, a voting machine company. We don't even know who the hell really owns uh, these companies. Smartmatic's $2.7 billion suit alleges a disinformation campaign, arguing Fox has damaged democracy worldwide by letting its hosts run with election conspiracy theories. It comes just days after lawsuits filed by Dominion Voting Systems against two attorneys with ties to former President Donald Trump, Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani, saying the company has to stand up for the electoral process after claims like this. We have a machine, the Dominion machine, that's as filled with holes as Swiss cheese and uh, was developed to steal elections and being used in the states that are involved. That's just not true, according to the country's top cybersecurity experts, who said in a statement after the election, there is no evidence that any voting system deleted or lost votes, changed votes, or was in any way compromised. Powell's attorney called the suit against her political lawfare on behalf of the radical left and predicted a complete victory for them. A Fox spokesperson says the news network is committed to providing the full context of every story with in-depth reporting and clear opinion, adding they will vigorously defend this meritless lawsuit in court. And Rudy Giuliani called the Smartmatic suit another golden opportunity for discovery and says the Dominion case is an act of intimidation intended to censor him the companies frame it as a fight for the soul of democracy, even more urgent now after the siege on the Capitol, January 6th. I don't think those people would have believed that there was a way to overturn the result if it hadn't been for these poisonous lies that began on election night. Why take this step to actually go through and file these lawsuits right now? Because action should have consequences and the truth matters. And we think the American people deserve to know that the 2020 presidential election was free and fair and the results were accurate. Several media outlets threatened with defamation letters seem to be trying to course correct. Fox aired a fact checking segment in December multiple times on some of the shows mentioned in the Smartmatic lawsuit. No, I'm not aware of any evidence that Smartmatic is sending U.S. votes to be tabulated in foreign countries. Still, some fear the damage has been done. Harder to correct the record than to spread a lie. One that is central to the impeachment trial against former President Trump. Now, just one day away. Beyond the impeachment itself, there could be other consequences for Donald Trump. Dominion tells me they are not ruling out suing the former president if they feel like they need to. Legal experts say the suits already filed send a larger message, basically putting on notice other people or news outlets who have spread these kinds of claims. As for Lou Dobbs, he has been retweeting a number of people sending him support after his show's cancellation, including thanking the former president himself, who says Dobbs has a large and loyal following who will be watching his next move. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.